did already do some practice on long division, but I'll just kind of go over that one more time for you. So what we can do here, first thing I'd say is let's divide or practice dividing. So to make your uh, Algebra 2 teacher and Pre-Calculus teacher happy, let's go back through this process here real quickly. What you're going to do is you're going to take your first term, divide it into the first term of your uh, radicand. x divides into x cubed, x squared times. Then we're going to take x squared, and you're going to multiply x squared times both terms of your divisor. x squared times x is going to be x cubed x squared times negative 3x is a negative 3x squared. Then you subtract the rows. Just make sure you're subtracting both of them. So therefore, we have x cubed minus x cubed, which is just 0, right? Negative 3x cubed minus negative 3x cubed, that becomes positive, so that becomes 0. And then you could say 5 minus 0 is going to be 5. Now, does x minus 3 divide into 5? Nope. So we could say 5 is going to be your remainder. But if you remember, the way that we learned how to write this was 5 over the divisor. Correct? OK. So in reality, I could say 4 over 2. I could also divide 2 into 4 and say that's equal to 2. Actually, let's do 5. Do something with the remainder. You could say 2 divides into 5. You could leave that as a fraction, right? Or we could simplify this and say 2 divides into 5 2 times plus 1 half. Correct? Would you guys agree with me? Those are equivalent, right? That's kind of like the mixed number, and that's the improper fraction. So what I could do is instead of writing it this way, I could write the integral of this. Integrate x squared plus 5 over x minus 3. That's helpful because now, can I break up this integral? Of course I can. And now what you guys can see is over here, obviously this is easy to integrate. But over here, we just, we're just a little u substitution away from doing this one. So I could say u is equal to x minus 3. du is equal to dx. Obviously, I need to get this 5 out of the way, though. So therefore, it's going to be 1 fifth du is equal to dx. So it's going to look something like this. Um, x squared plus 1 fifth uh, 1 over u du. We OK? Integrate x cubed over, um, oh, I guess I should actually make this, sorry. So x cubed over 3 plus 1 fifth um, ln of u. And then this is all plus a c. And then I'm just going to plug in back in my u. So I have x cubed over 3 plus 1 fifth ln of x minus 3 plus c. If I'm multiplying by 5, and that's 1 fifth instead of 1 fifth. Oh, what? Yeah, the 5 is on the numerator, not in the denominator. I don't need to multiply by 5. I need to multiply by 5, right? My apologies, not 1, not one fifth. Nobody says anything. Stare and watch. Because <sighs> you got to get it to 5 du, not 1 fifth du. 